the, in this race. But here we go. Here come the X30 Super Shifters in cart 637. That's then Dorian Pinimaji, the pole man. A fastest lap in qualifying yesterday of 52.474 seconds. Now, the senior carts, which are the second fastest class of carts we have here, the fastest time in qualifying yesterday from Jordan Brown Nutley was 55.1 seconds. So these super shifters are seriously quick. I spoke to Stan Dorian this morning. He said the carts are just excellent to drive. They're real, real tiny pieces of kit. Average speed around this 1360 meter circuit yesterday in qualifying 93.3 kilometers an hour. That's an average speed. Top speed at the end or down the back straight, you're talking well over, well over 115 kilometers per hour. G-force is in the corner. Over 1G, even approaching 2G in the corners. So the grid will be 637, Stan Dorian Pinimaji on pole position on the CRG cart for the AIX racing team. Thierry Del Rey in cart 611, the Mach 1 chassis he will start on the outside of row number one. In cart 603, Austria's Konstantin Scholl on the Tony cart for the Jan Darms racing team. And his teammate, driver number 616, John Antoniadis, the Greek driver. He will be starting on the outside of row number two. And on row number three, number 613, Finland's Miko Lane on a Haas cart. And even though there's only five drivers in the class they were separated well the top four separated by just two tenths of a second in qualifying yesterday and you can see them now doing practice starts slowing down and just yeah the acceleration naught to 60 in just over three seconds is then Dorian Pinimaji he's got his blue and white team Estonia race suit on Jerry Del Rey in cart number 611, just slowing down. So their left hand, you'll see their left hand moving about. That's the clutch. Their right hand is the gear stick. And they will do a standing start. So there's the start line official with the red flag pointing Standorian Pinimaji into his grid slot. On the outside of row one, Thierry Del Rey, the experience, a double world army champion, a multiple Belgian national champion. They are on the grid. The signal is given. They wait for the lights. Off we go. It's a great start from the outside of row one from Thierry Del Rey. Poor start there. I think from that was Antoni Addis in the red race suit, dropping back to fifth place. But somehow, the pole man holds on to top spot. But right behind him is Del Rey. So Pini Maggi leads. Then it's Del Rey. Right behind them is Constantine Scholl in that blue and white Tony cart for the Jan Darms team in cart 603. He's under pressure though from Miko Lane. And Miko Lane dives at the inside going into the button complex. Does he overshoot ever so slightly? No, he doesn't. He does hold on. So Finland's Miko Lane in third place now. It's a good strong start from Miko in cart 613. John Antoniadis at the back there in fifth position going through your screen now he had a slow getaway the driver with the red race suit the black crash helmet but uh, Antoni Addis well over nearly 30 years experience in kart racing as we cross the start finish line to complete lap number one of 11 Pini Maggi leads Del Rey right behind him no actually I do apologise that is Del Rey who has moved past Pini Maggi he was uh, glancing at the timing screen and uh Del Rey made his move. Now, what can Pini Maggi do to fight back? Down the back straight. Who is going to be late on the brakes? You've got to go break down to the gears. Through the button complex. Now, begin to go up a gear. Turn. Up another gear. Now, hard on the brakes again. Down through the box. Into turn number eight. Back up through the gears to turn number nine. You can see their hands moving about. Left hand clutch, right hand gear stick. The percentage of the lap where they've got two hands on the wheel is not that great. Two through turn number 11. Now Pini Maggi is in the slipstream. Will he pull out and pass the race leader? Yes, he does. 
Stan Dorian Pinimaji takes over top spot can Thierry Del Rey fight back they are pulling away from Miko Lane in third Constantine Scholl in fourth and Antoniadis in fifth but it's a great battle between these two very experienced campaigners 10 years in age between them Del Rey 30 Pinimaji 20 but both have been racing for 20 plus years Pinimaji into turn number eight Del Rey following even in that short straight, they're getting up to over 90 kilometers an hour before they break hard for turn number nine. Now Del Rey follows the race leader into turn number 11. Miko Lane, just over a second back in third place. They cross the start finish line. Now Del Rey tucking himself down to try and get a slipstream into turn number one. Hard on the brakes, down through the gears, through the very technical first sector of this lap. Got to be careful not to run wide. Up, they snatch a gear as they go into turn number five now down from the box Pinimaji the race leader 53.468 seconds Del Rey in his wheel tracks as they go down the back straight that is where they get to nearly 120 kilometers an hour before they break hard for the button complex and Del Rey closing in will he duck under the inside no Pinimaji holding off the Belgian driver Thierry Del Rey as they get down towards turn number nine already this is lap number four coming towards the end of lap number four into the final corner and across the line we go Pirimaji leads again Del Rey in his wheel tracks but unable to make a move under braking Nico Lane is now 2.2 seconds back the two Jan Darm's teammates Constantin Scholl and uh, John Antoniadis I don't think a good scrap for fourth place but that is happening nearly 10 seconds behind these two so this is proof now that you don't need a massive grid to have a great race the two leaders knows the tail Miko Lane all on his own in third but this is his first super shifter race don't forget Miko Lane in cart number 613 and he's probably thinking well I need a nice calm race just to get into the swing of things and he's getting one in third place there's Miko Lane on the Haas cart and we look back now to see the two Jan Darm's teammates going through turn number eight but the leaders are already in turn number 11 now Thierry Del Rey Looks close than he did last time. Will we see him duck out on the run into turn number one? Not this time. Pirimaji in cart 637, just doing enough to hold him off. CRG cart against the Mach 1 machine of Del Rey. They go through turn number four. Hard on the brakes. Del Rey, though, getting quicker. Del Rey fastest of all. 53-0-39. Last time about. The gap is three tenths of a second as they go through the button complex on lap number six. Miko Lane, well, he's dropping back by about half a second. The lap is Miko Lane, but he's comfortably clear of Constantine Scholl and John Antoniadis. Down into turn number nine in the six speed gearbox carts. Lane, 34 years old from Akka in Finland. He started karting back in 1999, so these are the most experienced drivers in this paddock this weekend. Pidimaji. Actually, a little bit quicker than Del Rey last time around. A new fast lap for Stendori and Pirimaji. 52.95. So, Pirimaji under pressure. Del Rey was asking the question. Pirimaji answers by breaking the 53 second barrier. There is Miko Lane going through turn number five now. That Haas cart. Five drivers, five different chassis manufacturers. You've got Pirimaji on the CRG, Del Rey on the Mach 1. There is Constantin Scholl on the Tony cart. And, oh, I believe that... Uh, no, I think it's a Tony cart as well for Anthony Addis. So four different chassis manufacturers. Two Yandam's teammates on the Tony cart. And Pelimaji continues to edge away as we start lap number eight. He was a tenth quicker on that last lap than Del Rey. So Del Rey now has to focus. They go through turn number three, being careful to stay off the kerbs. Hard on the brakes for turn number five. You can see Del Rey chasing Pirimaji. Pirimaji uses the opportunity to just briefly check over his shoulder. But he hasn't got much of an opportunity because you get down that back straight just so quickly before you have to start worrying about going down through the gears for the button complex. Turn number eight. And now down the short shoots towards 
turn nine in front of the spectator tribunes and Del Rey gets a good run through turn number nine and now turn 10 can he close up at the breaking for turn number 11 well he probably can but then of course you'll lose that ground going on to the main straight because Pidimaji is just that little bit earlier on the accelerator you can see Del Rey now he's got to change down just as the road begins to veer right for turn number one so you're turning right the g-forces the heavy braking and you've only got one hand on the steering wheel Pidimaji goes a little bit quicker another 52 second lap for Pidimaji Del Rey has responded with a 53.012 so both leaders putting in their personal best laps of the race on lap number eight we're now running lap number nine some way behind these Constantine Scholl is only a tenth of a second in front of his teammate John Antoniadis that is for fourth place the leaders coming into turn number 11 now Pidimaji slightly different line in turn number 11 doesn't cost it though he squares that corner off a bit more than Del Rey and it seems to be working for him as we start lap number 10 now into turn number five we go on to the back straight del rey 20 cart lengths back not even the bravest of the brave would risk a, a late outbreaking maneuver from that distance back turn number five is turn number eight rather is next and pidimaji looking comfortable he's taken one or two glances over his shoulder but he hasn't recently i think he realizes that his uh, times are good you can see on the steering wheel they've all got lap timers so they know how quick they're going and i think they're probably thinking to themselves well i'm doing a 52.9 if anyone's going quicker than me then fair play to them but uh can you that aix racing team cart there's the battle between the yan dams duo Constantine Scholl just going through your screen there three tenths of a second in front of his Greek compatriots but on to the back straight this is the last lap Del Rey hasn't given up through turn number six we go the gap half a second but Pirimaji a purple first sector on his last lap he is still pushing on he doesn't want to run the risk of Del Rey getting even a sniff away from a last corner lunge and Pirimaji, that Euro kart in graphics down the side of his cart, comes into turn number 11. Out towards the chequered flag, Stan Dorian Pirimaji becomes the first driver to win a super shifter race here in the X30 Euro series. And Thierry Del Rey chasing him home in second moves alongside they exchange a cursory glance at one another and as you quite often see in gearbox racing because the speeds are so much greater because the drivers know if they do have an incident it's going to hurt a lot more than in any other type of car you there is a lot more respect oh there's respect in karting anyway but there's a lot more camaraderie between them than in some other classes miko lane Finishing in third place, first ever Super Shifter race. Finishes in third, Constantine Scholl just holds off his teammates 